As you can see, Tropical Cyclone Faraji has put on a show of intensification that we most certainly did not expect. Now, the storm has weakened slightly over the past few hours or so. It's still an incredibly powerful tropical cyclone of 115 knots. That's Category 4 on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane scale, Category 5 on the Australian scale. Now, this storm will likely maintain its intensity for the next two days and, believe it or not, intense fight further from here. We have some lovely satellite imagery displayed right now. You can see just how impressive this storm is. I mean, it's it's looking really good. I mean, there is a slight weakness in the eastern eye wall, but solid minus 70 is all around. And that eastern eye wall part does look to be repairing itself. That little fracture does look to be repairing itself. Now, now if this storm doesn't get moving over the next few hours, we're likely to be seeing rapid weakening as a result of the storm located over one spot where an upwelling will really get to it, which is sort of what we're seeing right now. But it looks like it is starting to get in the move. It's moving very slowly. It has stalled, but it looks like it could be starting to move in those latest frames. Here's a map of the ocean heat content right now. We can see the ocean heat content for the region is good. It's not great and it's certainly not fabulous, but definitely enough for this storm to really put itself over for around four to six hours. But if this storm doesn't get moving in the next few uh, minute, uh, in the next few hours or so, it's gonna have some really big problems with the sea temperatures. Here's the forecast track guidance. You can see the storm is going to be taking that southeasterly track over the coming few days. It isn't expected to speed up much in the short term, but will it speed up as it approaches the jet stream and heads further south? You can see the GFS model very confident with this storm reaching 100 knots at another point in its lifetime. It's already at 100 knots right now, so uh, yeah, I'll be surprised if it doesn't hold 100 knots for at least the next day or so. Uh, it would be quite a surprise to me, uh, but it's still a very strong system. Thank God this is staying away from land. If this was gone towards land, that would be catastrophic indeed. Take a look at some microwave imagery. You can see that that eastern eye will just really not that good, but it's moving in, into the southeastern part now. It seems like it's rotating around the storm, rotating around the eye, which you could kind of see on the uh, satellite imagery, but it's more prominent definitely on the microwave imagery. It's not looking too bad, that uh, southeastern eye wall, but the other eye walls, the western, the northern, and the uh, southern, looking very, very solid indeed. It's a good looking storm. It's really got its shape together nicely and definitely does deserve Category 5 status on the Australian scale and maybe even on the Sapphire Simpson scale if it can get its act together even further. The eye temperature is 17 degrees Celsius positive right now which is very good for this storm indeed working in its favour. That generally is indicative of a category 5, it's just a structure isn't that good. Uh, take a look at some visible imagery to close the video off. Looking very impressive on the visible imagery. That's a very big eye that is starting to come out. It's looking a lot like Yasa or Ambali, two very strong storms in the Southern Hemisphere in recent times, which is kind of typical for this part of the world. We generally do see those disproportionately large eyes that we don't see in the Western Pacific or in the Atlantic Basin, but still nonetheless a very good looking storm. Picture perfect as the sun slowly sets over it and really quite an impressive storm. Tropical Cyclone Faraji is posing no threat to land. I reiterate that, no threat to land. So if you do hear this name, don't worry about it too much. It is not posing a threat to land. That's latest from me on Cycling Track and, do, on cycling track and 2. If you did enjoy this video, you can show support being like it. If you want to show more support, most of you can subscribe to me and the main channel, Cycling Track and Wolves. That's latest from me and catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.